Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, February 26th. It is 8.24 in the morning. I have been pretty productive today so far. Um, I got the boys to school, came home, and I've been folding some laundry um, and started the washer. Um, but my washer is being stupid right now. I don't know what the heck is going on. I have my comforter in there, and normally I have no problems washing it, but it's being weird and keeps coming up with these error codes. Like, there was one error code that I had no idea what it was. I looked at the, um, you know, the book and stuff, and it didn't tell me, and then I had, so, and it, like, wouldn't even let me unlock the washer, so I don't know what the heck was going on. So, I just turned it off and redid it, and then it said the drain tube was kinked. And so I looked and the drain tube wasn't kinked. So I don't know if it's just the um, washer itself or what's going on. But anyway, hopefully I can figure it out because I still have quite a bit of laundry to do, including my scrubs. So if not, I guess I'll take it to my mom's. Um, today my weight was, get this guys, 202.2. I did not get my steps in yesterday. Um, I was... Um, Went to that meeting after work, if you guys watched the last vlog. Or not after work, but went to the meeting at work. And um, had two cookies there. And then I got home and I had a headache. And, like, I was just, like, my head was starting to almost turn into a migraine. So, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and go to bed. So, I got the boys to bed and then I went to bed. Um, So, when I saw the 202 this morning, I was like, hot damn. Excuse the language. But I was super excited. Um, my appointment with my doctor is next week on Monday. And I've been thinking about changing it. But if my weight keeps dropping like it is, I may not change it. I'm going to kind of wait till I think till Friday and see what I'm at and go from there. I don't know yet. So we'll see. Um, so right now, I'm actually going to go ahead and wash my face. I forgot to wash it this morning. So um, I'm kind of anal about that. So I'm going to go wash my face. And then I might lay back down for a little bit. I still have a little bit of a headache. And um, just I'm just tired. I, you know, this cold stuff is still kind of getting to me. And um, this week's going to be another long week at work, I have a feeling. And I think I, I think it's tomorrow that I picked up another 16-hour shift. So, why well, not pick out, you know, I normally work Wednesdays, but I picked up from 7 to 11 tomorrow night to get some extra hours. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just tired right now. So, <laughs> I just can't get past this cold or whatever I had. I don't know. Like respiratory infection, bronchitis, laryngitis, whatever the heck it is I'm going on. So I'm picking up my face. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. It's early still. And um, life is good. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Oh, real quick. My plan today for meal-wise is I have some frozen fish in the freezer that like single serve type stuff I'm going to cook for dinner tonight. They're already pre-seasoned and everything. And then I set out some hamburger meat and I'm going to cook up in meal prep for the next couple days at work. Just trying to use up what I have. So yeah, that's the plan. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. So guys, it is, <laughs> let's mark this day in history. It is February 26th. It's 4.43 in the afternoon, even, whatever you want to call it. And I just came out to my family and friends that I'm on YouTube, <laughs> on Facebook. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, my mom knows because um, my nephew has a channel and he knows. I'm pretty sure my, I know my sister-in-law knows, so I'm pretty sure my brother knows. Um, and they may have told some people, I don't know. But I've never came out and told anybody. I think Chris sus suspects it. <laughs> But I've not told anybody, so interested to see how this goes. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I was—I you know, don't know why. I just was kind of—I don't know why I didn't tell anybody. I just didn't. I don't know. But I thought I'd let you guys know. Hey guys, so it's a little after nine now on Tuesday evening. Um, actually, I had a pretty good day. I drank all my water. I did my OMAD. Um, I had for dinner like the fish I was telling you guys about earlier. Some 
the carrots I had left, um, some jalapeno slices that were baked in the oven. I had, they were frozen. I had gone to Aldi a while back, so I ate those so, with some um, blue cheese dressing with the carrots. And then I also ate a Pop-Tart. <laughs> I know it's not the most healthiest, but as you guys know, I'm trying to save some money and eat what I have in the house. So it is what it is. It filled me up and I feel fine. So um, I didn't drink my apple cider vinegar drink though until this evening and ate it before, went and drank it before dinner. And I don't know why I forgot. Like I just totally did not think about this morning. I swear, ever since I was sick, like, my mind is still, like, just foggy. Like, I can't remember nothing, and oh, I'm staying exhausted still. And tomorrow, I've got that 16-hour shift to work, and I'm just not looking forward to it. It's going to be a long day. I mean, hopefully it'll go by fast because we've been so busy, but you just never know. With, with my little hospital, you just never know. Um, we, I know we're full today, so I'm sure we'll be full again tomorrow. Um, let's see what else. Oh, Chris is coming home tomorrow, which is exciting. We didn't know, think he was going to get to home, come home till, pro I mean, possibly Friday, but maybe Saturday, just depending on when he got his job done. He's in Harrisonburg right now, and he actually got his job done today, and is coming home tomorrow. I'm so excited. Probably won't see him till Thursday, though, because of, um, working at 16 tomorrow, but it'll be all right. Um... That 16 is going to kick my butt. I just know it. Especially when it's my first of three shifts in a row. But guys, I got to get some overtime. And if that's the only time I can get my overtime, that's when I'm going to get it, you know. Because I want to be able to um, help, you know. I want to, when I'm trying to get overtime, I want to do it when the kids are not home, you know. I want to do it when they're with their dad so I don't take any of my, any time away from them. And so, um. That's the plan, at least. <laughs> I may try to pick up some night shifts on the weekend there with me and just have them to stay at my mom's with them. Like, if I'm on call or something, um, I was going to talk to my mom and stuff that about that. I haven't got to that yet with them. That way I'm not really taking any time away from them and can um, spend as much time with them still that I can, as I can. So, yeah, that's it for right now. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. I will see you guys first thing in the morning. Talk to you in a little bit. Hey, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and make sure you give me a thumbs up. Oh, I almost forgot because I came out on Facebook today. I posted something about YouTube on Facebook about how, um, like, the kids' stuff is horrible. I mean, like, it's just so bad. If you have kids that watch YouTube, you really need to watch them. And I have told my kids for the last couple of weeks. Well, for a while now, I've just been giving them 30 minutes each. So, they got, like, a total of an hour. But I was getting to the point, like, where I wasn't able to keep as, like, good eye on it. And when I was with them watching it, it was, like, stuff like people murdering and, like, I don't know, every once in a while I'd hear a cuss word. You know, when I saw that stuff, I'd make them change it. But I'm just like, no, 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 no. So somebody had posted something on Facebook today about it. And I told her in the Facebook, you know, thing that I have not for the last, like, I think two weeks, not let the boys watch any YouTube. Because I'm just like, you guys don't need to watch it. You watch enough TV, it's enough YouTube, you know. But she had posted about how it was a Peppa Pig thing. And it was, like, from 2017. About how, like, Peppa Pig was, like, killing her friends and stuff. So, it was, like, the skies is a cartoon character that kids love. And it was definitely not appropriate material for kids. And I'm sure YouTube, like, really kind of mo tries to monitor. But things get slipped by. I mean, YouTube's a big, 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 you know, um, what's the word I want? Like, just company or business or whatever um site um internet site so i'm sure they can't keep track of everything all the time and stuff is going to slip by and then i've read a couple other posts today about like from recently where kids have found um like porno on youtube kids you know like they've come across this like porno and it's been on the youtube kids site or you know these adults playing with toys and taking their clothes off you know the toys clothes off on youtube kids so i was just i have like no well my one friend on facebook um she posted that she had talked to her daughter about it and was her daughter i think is keenan's age maybe between the boys so she's either four or five i don't know but um she had told her 
that she was not going to watch YouTube anymore. And her and her husband talked about how they wanted to make sure her bucket was full of good things and not bad things and that type of thing. Well, last night, actually, we had read um, film, the book Fill My Bucket. I had never heard of it before. But um, it had got sent home with Keenan yesterday from school. So we read it last night. And I thought, you know what? That's perfect timing for me to mention that to the kids. So tonight when we were doing homework, I said, guys, I don't really want to talk to you guys about something. I like, you know how mommy's not been letting you watch YouTube? And they said, yeah. I said, well, you remember that book we were talking about last night about filling your bucket? I was like, you want to fill your bucket with good stuff, with love and kindness and just those types of things. You don't want to fill your bucket with bad stuff. And even though there's lots of love and kindness in this world, there's also lots of bad stuff in this world. And some people aren't nice and some people aren't loving and some people aren't kind. There are some bad people. I was like, and on YouTube, a lot of times that they post some bad things that they, um, you know, that are very inappropriate for kids. And I don't want you guys to be filling your buckets up with bad stuff. I want your buckets to only be filled with good stuff. And I think they didn't, they, Parker was kind of like, whatever, mom, you know, um, he came, he gave me some kind of excuse about stuff. And he was talking about like, he said something along the lines of about, um, I can't think of the show, but pe he's like, mommy, people die and then they um, regenerate or something like that. I was like, okay, buddy. Perfect example. And then Kenan was just like, okay. <laughs> so, but I mean, it is what it is. I'll get over it. But, and I, the only problem is I can't control it when they're not with me. Like, I know my mom and my stepdad doesn't let them, but I can't control it when they're with her dad. And that's his progress. If I just have nothing, there's nothing I can do about it with him. Um... So, yeah, but um, when I shared the post on Facebook, I posted that, you know, I even have my own channel. Nobody has really said anything about it. Now, on my friend Kelly's post, I did post that I have my own channel and I'm not letting the kids watch. And she asked me about my channel and I told her. And then, um, but on my post, nobody's really said anything about me having my own channel yet. Um, I haven't told Chris. I think he knows, but. And then, um. Like, I'm pretty sure my mom knows. Um, I'm pretty sure my mom, my stepsister and my brother know because my, my nephew knows. So, I mean, there's people that know. I just don't advertise it, you know. Um, I kind of would like for people to know, though. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, so I've now been almost recording for now eight minutes. So, I'm going to go to bed. It's 10 after 11 or 9 now. And, um... I will talk to you guys in the morning. See you soon. Good morning. Good morning. It is 6.49. Wednesday, February 27th, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm headed to work and I'm late, late, late <laughs> this morning. Um, normally on Wednesdays I run late anyhow because I take the boys to school. But I am <coughs> at our meeting the other day. We talked about, you know, you know time and stuff. So I thought, well, I need to... I'm gonna see if mom and Jim can take them. And so I went in and did that. And um, they came and got them. But I still couldn't get out of the house one time. It, like, it never fails. I just wish I could get to work on them. It would be so much better for me. But, oh well. Um, like, I'm supposed to be working 10 minutes. I'm gonna go 15 minutes away. So. But on a positive note, guys, um, I was 201.4 this morning which is awesome i'm still debating whether or not to change my appointment or not on monday um if i can be less than 199 less than 200 on monday i will definitely change my appointment um or not change up keep it but if not then i won't change it i'm going to be less than 200 when i go to my appointment on monday um and if i keep up the weight rate I'm going I should be which is awesome <laughs> um today for lunch I packed the Stouffer's um or what are they called um stuffed peppers and then I packed the yogurt um a cucumber with my uh, with the cream cheese and um the seasoning on it which I haven't put on it yet I'll do that work this evening Whenever I eat, and then I'm packed a pop tart for my sweetness, um, and that will be my meal today. I am working 16 hours today, so I also did bring a 
monster coffee drink um, to kind of help give me that extra boost the second half of the day. Um, I slept okay last night. I didn't get to sleep as early as I wanted to. It seems like no matter what I do, I cannot get to sleep before 10 o'clock. I can go about 7 o'clock at night and I cannot go to sleep till 10 o'clock. It's like my body is getting trained to go to bed at 10 o'clock. That seems to be the typical time I go to bed. Um, but, you know, it's, I'll be alright. I'm tough and it'll be fine. Uh, my mouth is so dry. I've got my apple cider vinegar and lemon juice drink here. I haven't even started it yet. I didn't even take a drink of it because I'm thirsty. Let me do that real quick. <clears throat> I'm going to try to close the vlog out. I'm going to try to close it out when I get home tonight. So I'll probably be technically thirsty when I close you guys out. But, um, at least I'm closing it. <laughs> um, just trying to you know, stay on course, guys. I am worried this evening about the whole working, you know, 16 hours because when I get tired, I want to eat, especially, you know, to keep me awake. So we'll just have to see how that goes. <laughs> That's my big worry with working on shift or this evening, this late, you know, shifts. Because like last time, last on Saturday, had the fat bombs that the girls made, you know, that are doing keto, and I think they're all there tonight, maybe, I don't know, I don't remember, but it is what it is. But guys, I'm going to get off here and focus on my driving and um, get to work. You guys, I'm crossing my fingers that we have a manageable day. I'm not praying. I don't ask for a good day. I pray for a manageable day, because it seems like when I ask for a good day, something happens. Like using the Q word in the hospital. If you don't know what the Q word is, um, you're not a nurse <laughs> or a huck or like a nursing assistant or a medical assistant or an LPN or even a doctor. Because <laughs> um, the Q word is a bad word. I mean, it's bad as using that word. So, but yeah, our. Um, head of our hospital he walked through the unit one day and he said it sure is cute in here and I told him I said listen if it gets bad in here if all goes to crap later on the day I said you are going to come over and help us <laughs> he said I don't know how much, how much help I would be but I would try <laughs> luckily it didn't go all the crap that day after he said that so but anyhow guys I'm gonna get off here and concentrate on my driving thanks for watching it and I will check back in with you guys this evening bye for now hey guys it is 10 37 I am just now leaving work I was supposed to work till 11 but um we went down the numbers so I went ahead and left a little early um so I ate everything I told you guys I was going to eat today and I was over like about 200 calories of my um i think 1200 calories that my fitbit tells me i need to have so i thought that was really good i was happy about that um i did drink my um energy drink a little later in the day than what i meant to so i'm probably gonna be up all night now but on a good and a bad note i'm not coming in tomorrow till three and i'm only working till seven so i'm only getting four hours so technically the evening's not even over time go figure so it is what it is though um but yeah, I'm going home. I'm going to get a shower and try to get the rest of my steps in. Because I have like 200 more steps to get before I um, reach my 10,000 step goal. Also, I <laughs> wanted to tell you guys. So, um, I think I told you guys yesterday that I came out on Facebook about having my channel. I think I told you guys. Um, but anyhow, um, one of my best friends. Nobody has mentioned anything to me about it until today. And one of my best friends, she was like, so you have a YouTube channel? she messaged me my friend Emily and I was like yeah I've been kind of quiet about it you know but I've had it for over a year and she's like cool you know so <laughs> um so hey Emily if you see this I love you <laughs> um but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and end it out for tonight I think Chris may be there when I get home so we'll see um like I said though I'm just gonna get the rest of my steps in and um I'm gonna get a shower too and lay down and probably watch some Ray Donovan <laughs> 
<laughs> that is it guys i hope you guys are having a great day please if you haven't already hit the likes button the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when i post new videos um thanks guys for watching and i appreciate each and every one of you bye for now hey guys so it's 11 39 wednesday night i already closed out the vlog but because i'm keeping this honest and up front with you guys i'm going to show you what sucked me in i was in the shower ice cream but i got a small kids bowl i'm gonna put it in and that's all i'm gonna have and i'm going to bed i just can't get off my mind i tried drinking some water and it's just not going away, so I'm going to go ahead and eat a little bit. Take care of that craving. So, just want to let you guys know. Give me a thumbs up if you think you love me being honest <laughs> with you guys. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Tiffany here from PK Mom Life with um, another vlog for you guys. It is Thursday, February 28th. Tomorrow is March 1st, guys. What? Yeah, March 1st tomorrow. Um, it is about 5 till 2 in the afternoon on Thursday. I um, worked last night till 11. And if you guys didn't watch my last vlog. And I just um, got, got up about noon. Because I was up to almost 2. Uh, two trying to chill out and stuff. And I'm going to work at 3. So I've already ate and everything um for today i had my um, apple cider vinegar drink today and if you guys don't know i do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar the um unfiltered with the mother with the mother so you want to have which i've shaken this up recently so you can't see but you want to be able to see all that sediment on the bottom of it and then i do that two tablespoons and about do this size glass filled up just about here with ice and then just a tiny little bit of lemon juice two tablespoons of that and then the rest of water mix it all up and drink it and then I had a cucumber with my cream cheese and my everything but the bagel seasoning I'm so sad can you guys see that like I have hardly any left look at that it's all that's left that's mostly salt hopefully Chris's mom and dad get in sync because they're going to she's bringing me some if not, I'll order some from Amazon. And then I had today um, two pieces of bread with um, cream chip beef on it. I just need the stofers. Um, and then I'm getting ready to eat a pop tart. And that put my calories, I want to say around 1,100 calories. I'm going to have my goals two or 1,200. So, I usually do like a Pop-Tart or something for um, just my sweet, whatever I have in the house. I do have a bunch of Girl Scout cookies now. <laughs> and so, we'll probably start working those in some. But, um, trying to keep my t calories 1,200, 1,400 the most. Because that's just where I know I can lose weight at. Um, this morning, my weight was 201.4. I was happy it was still at 201.4 that's what it was yesterday also because i had that ice cream last night i was really worried about that thankfully my weight did not go up with it um so <laughs> i was very relieved when i saw the 201.4 i do weigh myself daily and i do that to keep myself accountable i do not um let myself get upset you know when it goes up or it goes it stays the same you know because i know my water my weight fluctuates from water weight you know and all those type of things um i'm eating pretty much what i want from what you guys can heard from just what i was eating you know what i ate today so far and um <clears throat> or what i ate for my meal today i'm doing omad by the way which is one meal a day and that um i just eat what i want now i am trying to do which i know today doesn't really sound like it too much but i am trying to do a little bit more lower carb I'm not doing low I'm not doing a low carb or no carb I should say I'm just watching my carbs but with that being said also I'm trying to eat what I have in my house first I'm never gonna do low carb and I'm never gonna do no carb I'm not that girl but I will I am trying to watch my carbs um obviously 
you know, ice cream is not low carb. Obviously, bread isn't. So, <laughs> obviously, Pop Tarts aren't. But, like I said, I'm just watching what my carbs. Like, if I go out to dinner, I'm not going to get eat bread. You know, if we, my boyfriend and I, Chris and I, do a lot of times on Friday nights Mexican. I might eat less chips than I normally do. You know, I just don't want to eat as much carbs as what I was. Um, once I get all this ice cream out of my house, I'm going to probably um, kind of take out the ice cream out of my diet because it is my um, weakness. And then if I have a craving, I'll just go to Dairy Queen or something um, instead of keeping it here in the house because it attempts me a lot. <laughs> so, uh, but anyhow, I think that's it for right now. I'm going to eat my Pop-Tart. Um, I need to brush my teeth and then go to work. Just working until 7, 7 30 at night. Hopefully, I'll be home by 8. Um, and then I'm working in tomorrow 12 hours. So, yeah, guys, um, that's it for I guess for right now. If you guys don't care, if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, you can keep up with me and my oh, my journey. I'm just trying to lose weight. I want to lose right now, like I said, I'm at 201.4. My first goal is to get my BMI at 35. Once I get my BMI at 35, I can be, um, I can have my consultation with a plastic surgeon to have a breast reduction. And that, I think I have to be about 192, if I remember right, um, to get there. So I have about eight pounds to lose, nine pounds, um, to lose before then. So getting there, working on it. Um, I've really got, I've been trying to do it oh my, since around Thanksgiving of 2018 so just a few months but it's been kind of hit and miss um i've been really trying to do it really hardcore for the last what month i think um because i really want to get this way off, off my goal is to have my reduction this year but as long as i have it before i turn 40 i would be happy with that and i'll be 38 in may so i mean i this year next year i should say which should be my as my goal <clears throat> if i can't get scheduled in this year for financial reasons or whatever in 2019 2020 will be my goal year to have it done so but yeah um just keep up with me um i'm raw and i tell you guys the truth i'm not trying to sugarcoat anything you know i'm me and that's what you get i um also do other types of videos so if you guys want to just watch me and join in on the fun you know um i'd love to have you so thanks for watching and um, I'll be back later this evening to um, update the rest of this vlog for today. This vlog will go up, I'm posting today, it's what Thursday, so it'll go up Saturday. So if you guys are watching this, it's Saturday. So we'll include today, tomorrow, yeah, Thursday and Friday. So all right guys, I will check back in with you guys later.